So once in a while, I like Says to separate Nezi myself Hugato from all the heavy action and grotesque genre of shonen and find myself reading stories that puts a more heavier emphasis Says on okay character now, development might want and life that. in general. What was the That's name? where this manga comes into play. It. Kolun Hideout. Generic Romance is a manga far from being generic. From its very first chapter leading up to its current release, this manga has some of the best visuals Says and authentically this YouTuber pleasing has a panels voice I have ever seen. Anytime I read a chapter, Says I find thanks. myself making personal notes to myself like, wow, that that uh, that, that water is watering? Past and current, love versus amnesia, mystery and suspense are all things incorporated within this manga. The story follows two characters, Kudo and Kujire. They work at a standard office job and for the first few chapters, the story follows their day-to-day -day life. They're both complete opposites of one another. Kudo values nostalgia and would rather repeat the same routine every day. He eats the same meals, visits the same places, and does the same thing. Whilst Kujirai is someone who is always down to try something new. Despite their differences and interests, they still go out of their way to spend quality time together. As friends, of course. Says, man, this knows As the story how progresses and the more time they spend with one thrillers. another, Kujire slowly develops feelings for him. And on one random instance, she finds an old photo of him and this mysterious second girl. And it's revealed that the second girl in the photo was her all along. Well, okay. kind of. Kudo is hiding something huge she doesn't know. Something happened between the two of them in their past, but she has no recollection of it at all. Thus, starting the main appeal and the mystery aspect of this manga. Wait, what? The author does a really good job at sucking you in and leaving you wanting to know more on what happens next. Why did she lose her memory? Is that even her? Why didn't Kudo mention any of this? All of these are questions that slowly get answered the more you read. If that wasn't too appealing I'm to you- I'm telling you, if that was a fucking westerner, she would not give a shit. <laughs> If that was a Western woman from America, Says they would not put that much time into that thinking. I'm telling you now, Western women would have saw that picture as long as they're in the picture, they don't give a shit. I'm dead serious. I'm not even being mean. If that was a Western woman, saw herself with a dude that she already likes, and her, and if it even remotely looks like her, and it is her, and she confirmed that's her, she don't give a shit. She just gonna say, I forgot, and move the fuck on. I'm dead serious. <laughs> you see how she, like, how the, the Asian woman's like, hmm, I don't remember this picture at all. Damn. I'm gonna make a whole series out of this. Nope. Westerner, just I'm in the picture, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm telling you now. That's how narcissistic we Americans are. If if we're in the picture with the person we really like, it doesn't matter what three. It doesn't matter they even Photoshop that shit in there. It doesn't matter they were right with it. Don't matter. I, it don't matter. Like I remember, like a perfect example. I I I'm those. Okay, I don't know if anyone experienced this. Have you ever met someone, whether it's in high school, college, or something? They know your friends from Facebook. You know them. No, you don't know them, but they're friends with you on Facebook somehow. You run into them. They talk to you as if you know them, right? And you don't know them, but they know things about you. And you're like, uh, I don't know this person. They probably know you from my other group of friends or some shit. I'm going to be nice and curious and move the fuck on. They're not going to do a whole serious in uh, investigation shit. They're not going to do it. It's too much work. <laughs> It's too much work. Westerners are lazy. I'm telling you. We are lazy. As soon as you know who we are, we are annoyed that you know us. <laughs> if I don't know you, you know me. I don't know you like that. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I don't know you. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ask any woman. I will go up to, like, if I went to my girlfriend right now and said, remember that one time we took a picture at, uh, at the grocery store down the street uh, from, from where we live? She's like, no, I don't remember that. But I was like, but we took a picture. If I had a picture and showing evidence and I wrote the date of that thing that I mentioned that she knows we didn't do, she was like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember that. You don't remember shit. I'm telling you. 
They will, they will not do it. They will not do it. <laughs> Let be, be honest. Be honest. Let's be honest. We will not care. <laughs> yes, I met a person like that numerous times. They act like they know me. Even dark secrets as well. Yes. It's cringy like FR. It's awkward. The shit's awkward and it's funny. It's awkward, it's creepy, and it's funny. But but what makes this work what what makes you not wander about that is because the stranger ain't knows who you are. So you don't want to know what they roses, know. Because we're that we're I'm roses, not gonna lie, roses, we're baby. that um narcissistic roses, roses, not to look. I'm roses, dead serious. Roses, if this was a Western roses, woman, she would not roses, care. Baby. <laughs> Says it, Euphoria. Roses Arts, hey, roses, thank you baby. very much. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Euphoria. I do appreciate it. that. Says is, it's that all cool. of the above. And what's worse is I ran into that similar person, TWIC. Not once. Twice. So, but, but I'm saying, like, like it is, it is what it is. If this was a Western woman from America, she would not care. Because as long as what the dude she likes, it don't matter. She's not going to do a whole investigation. Says Whoa. you're welcome. Just stop by to show some love. Oh, thank you, Says Euphoria. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. So cool. I appreciate it. Says procrastinating, <laughs> so I have to head out already. All right, do your thing. Don't procrastinate. Don't let that destroy you. You can do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's funny as hell. Cheers, love. The cavalry. I'm, I'm telling you, no, no Western woman will be there and be like, ah, well. They're going to just... Throw it in the back. If they went into the cat in the into the um, we call it the 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 attic. Found a picture of themselves with the person they like already. They're like, oh, I don't remember this picture, and just throw it the fuck away. And move on with their life. They will not care. The manga's main strength is its artwork. It's all done in a way that has so much passion, and the vibes I get from some of these panels are unmatched. It's only an anime or a, or Eastern story. This will work. I'm telling you now. Says it, Euphoria Arts, get it done. Because we, 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 because we as Americans, we have very selective, uh, we have selective understanding of things. Like we, so sele we select things that really bothers us and things that don't bother us. And one of those things is things like that. We will look at that and Says see that Euphoria as not a problem. Arts, we believe in you. We will, we will ignore that shit so fast. It doesn't even matter. Yes, we believe in you, Euphoria. It's made by the same author who made After the Rain. So you know when it comes to the art department, it's not going to fall short. I would say give this manga like five chapters at least. 